Hey, what's up, Chef Jessica? You see my apron Chinese, so it's Chinese food tonight. So anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to be uh, doing this, and I'm going to show you step by step. Right, okay, first of all, you got to use a wok if you got to make Chinese food, right? Well, you can't use You got to use a wok. Go out and buy a wok. So that's a wok that I got. I have some, uh, I'm going to be making some uh, beef and broccoli, and I have some white rice that I'm making in my uh, rice cooker. And uh, I'm going to start showing you how I'm going to put this together. So you got to keep an eye, okay? So let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, if you hear noise in the background, there's a helicopter flying overhead. Unfortunately, somebody got the, I don't know, I, don't, I can't give out details, but I'm getting reports that somebody got shot in front of my building one in the hallway, I don't know. I won't report it because, you know, I, I don't want to report false news. So anyway, but whoever it is, well, rest in peace. What, what can I say? You know what I mean? I mean, they, you know, I, I'm a chef. I'm not, you know, I don't know. So anyway, folks. So uh, I'm going to be using two, um, first of all, I'm going to be using three, uh, three tablespoons of water. So let's get some water, three tablespoons. Okay. So we got to do this. Let's get a, this is, this kitchen is too small, way too small for the things, some of the things I want to do in here. And I, I can't even find a spoon. Okay. Oh, let's go over here and find a spoon. No, that's not a spoon either. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. So in a bowl, I'm gonna put three tablespoons of, of uh okay. Just bear me with for a minute. Um, bear with me for a minute. Okay, that's one tablespoon. That's two tablespoons. And three tablespoons. And a little bit more because uh, in case I anything drip on it. So I got three tablespoons of water. And now let me dry this up here. I'm going to put a uh, uh, I'm gonna put uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, so I, I'm gonna show you this in a minute. Okay, so. Well, as a matter of fact, let me turn the camera down. Here we go. You see me there? Okay, so I got the I got three cup three uh, tablespoons of. Okay, and I'm gonna put one and two. Okay, and I'm gonna mix this up. Cold water. Okay. So I put some cornstarch in there, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and water. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna put my beef in here. Okay. And I'm just gonna mix this up around here, okay? So that's my beef that I I marinated in some lime and some vinegar just to tenderize it. And I'm just gonna mix this mixture of cornstarch in the beef, okay? There you go. Okay. Now in another bowl, I'm gonna start making the sauce for this. And I want you to watch because uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got some, uh, I got a teaspoon of, uh, a tablespoon of cornstarch, right? And uh, I'm going to be using some soy sauce. Uh, let me get the soy sauce here. I'm going to be using a uh, half a cup of soy sauce. Okay, low sodium soy sauce. Make sure it's all low sodium. You don't want salt in this thing. So, half a cup. Okay, here we go. Half a cup. Half a cup is a lot. Okay, there you go. Half a cup of soy sauce into the cornstarch, okay? And in there, we're going to be mixing it up. Uh, I'm going to be also using three tablespoons of brown sugar. And I got my brown sugar here. And I'm going to use one. Uh, okay. So this brown sugar got a little bit, but I'm using three tablespoons of of brown sugar give or take okay okay so we got this is going to be a sauce so i can cook the broccoli in it. uh the the uh the beef in it okay so uh i'm gonna put some garlic let me see if we can get some garlic la, 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 la. okay let's see what we got here 
and uh, yeah so I'm gonna be using a uh, let's see what was that uh, uh, one tablespoon of garlic okay so we're gonna use one tablespoon of garlic there we go put the garlic in there then I'm gonna be using some ginger now I don't have any ginger so what I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using ginger powder and uh, that's good it's a cheating and uh, I can, find, I can find it. I don't have no ginger. Uh, so I didn't. I didn't find any. Well, I have ginger powder somewhere, but what I'm going to be using, which is better, this is squeezable ginger, and uh, I'm going to be using. Uh, uh, let's see, what was that? Two tablespoons of ginger. Okay, let's see if I have enough ginger. Well, if not, I got. I know I got another bottle of this in there. So this is fresh ginger. Well, processed ginger, whatever you want to call it, in a jar. In a squeezable jar, but this is the best. If you don't have fresh ginger, like I forgot to get in the supermarket, this is the next best thing. Okay, so I put two tablespoons in there. And let me whisk this around. Okay. And uh, where's the garlic? Did I put oh, the garlic's in there? Okay. Okay. So let's whisk this around using a whisk, okay? There you go, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me turn on my wok. My wok is my stove turn on. My stove is on. Okay, so what I'm going to be using for this is some sesame oil. And it, the recipe I have calls for a vegetable oil, but I want to, in keeping to the tradition, I'm going to use sesame oil. Okay, so I'm going to whisk some sesame oil in the bottom. Uh, I didn't measure. I just uh, used about uh, a couple of teaspoons just to cover the bottom of the wok. Okay. Okay. So uh, let me throw this stuff back. Okay. So you got to keep the uh, you got to keep uh, the, the sesame oil burns quickly. So you got to be a little bit careful. So what I'm gonna do? I, I'm gonna get, let it get nice and hot. And I'm going to cook this, the beef in here. And then I'm gonna take the beef out, put it to the side, and then we are going to start cooking our uh, broccoli. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna, okay. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna uh, cook the broccoli. And then uh, I'll show you how that's done. So I'm gonna make sure that this wok is hot, okay? You gotta make sure that it's hot, hot. Okay, so I set the sauce. I The sauce that I, uh, Noisy. Uh, the sauce that I prepared using the brown sugar, the soy sauce, the uh, ginger, the garlic, and some uh, cornstarch, that's put aside. Now my pan is getting nice and hot with some uh, sesame oil. Like I said, the recipe calls for uh, corn oil, a uh, vegetable oil. But keeping in tradition Chinese, I'm using sesame oil, right? So I'm going to get this nice and hot. The wok it, it, the, the, the heat in the wok really is good. So I'm gonna add the beef. I'm gonna cook the beef in just a second. Let's see. Let's throw one beef in this. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna pour my beef into the in here. Yeah, look at that. And I'm gonna start cooking my beef. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. Okay. We put some of this water in there. Okay. And I'm gonna cook this beef. Okay, stirring, con you know, constantly. You don't wanna overcook the beef. And here we go. So, okay, so cook that beef up nice. And then I'm gonna show you what we do next. So, folks, my beef is done, and I'm gonna scoop it out, and I'm going to put it into, let's see, into a pan here, into a plate, and let this. And cool this off to the side here and then I'm gonna add my some more okay we're gonna add some gonna add some a, a little bit of oil in here and we're gonna start cooking the 
the broccoli. Okay. So stay tuned. So I'm gonna cook my uh, broccoli for about four minutes in here. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, cook, I'm gonna cook this for about four minutes, and then, uh, then we're gonna add the beef and the sauce. Okay, so cook this up for a little while. Okay. And then I'll be right back. Okay, folks, so my broccoli is done for four minutes. Now I'm going to return my beef into the broccoli. So remember the beef that I took out? Here we go. We're going to return that. Oh, yeah. We're going to return that into. We're going to mix this all up. Okay. And we're going to continue cooking for about a minute. And guess what? Remember that sauce that I made? Now it's time to throw that sauce in. Okay. So here goes the sauce. Ooh, yeah. We got a lot of garlic in there. I can smell the ginger. All that stuff is good for you. Okay, there you go. And now we're gonna bring this sauce to a boil. And it should thicken up because it's got the cornstarch in it and the the beef has the cornstarch in it too. So let's bring that uh, liquid to a boil and then we mix it up and we're ready to go. So folks, look at that. Look how it's looking. Oh man, there you go. Mix this around. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll continue cooking that for a couple of minutes. I get some thick, and then we're ready to go to the table. So my beef is done. You see, and now we're gonna go. I'm gonna serve it, and we're gonna go to the table. So don't go nowhere. Meet me at the table. Okay, folks, I'm at the table, and uh, the food looks good. It smells good, and uh, I, we have some chopsticks around the house, but I don't use chopsticks. I don't know how to use chopsticks. I, mean, I see everybody using chopsticks. I can't use chopsticks. Anyway, hey, I'm waiting my food. I fast. Got no time for that. So. Using a fork, all American fork, right? Really. So, um, I'm gonna show you in a second. In a second, uh, I just want to, I'm looking around, make sure everything is in order. Okay, let's flip the camera. So look at that. Doesn't that look like it came from the corner where you buy your Chinese food? Look at that. Yeah, there we go. And this is how the table looks tonight. And it looks just like the guy in the corner, the store in the corner. What's the name of the corner? Uh, Hung Low Kitchen. Did I say Hung Low Kitchen? Anyway, something like that. I forgot what it was. So, um, but hey, you know. You know. So, um, let's go try this out. Now, folks, the uh, one thing, the uh, the better steak to use for this is uh, uh, what is it? Uh, so anyway, the, you should uh, you, you should try to use a uh, skirt steak for this. But there was no skirt steak in the Le Boulet supermarket that I go to, so I'm using just some regular beef. I, I forgot what it is, but, but this is just a regular. But and it might be a little bit tough because I didn't get time. I usually I would boil it and uh, that would tenderize it and use some uh, lemon. I would have sauteed it, in, in marinated it in um, some kind of acidy substance like maybe orange juice or even. Uh, you know, lime juice, lemon juice, it's something that tenderizes the meat, but I, I didn't have any time, so I did run it through uh, some lemon juice and vinegar, but uh, it might be a little bit tough. But anyway, uh, but this is, you get the idea, right? Let's try to, let's try to see how it makes really tough. Matter of fact, that piece is not. I might have done something here. But, Let that choose that huh? See? Hey folks, there you got it. Beef and broccoli and white rice. Typical from your local Chinese place, you know. And uh, I sprinkled some uh, sesame seeds on top and uh, it was very traditional. Made on a wok. Actually, the recipe calls for cooking it in a, in a pan, but hey, I got a wok. Bet you didn't know that, right? So anyway, folks, with that said, uh, dinner tomorrow, uh, I have to go out to the Bronx. I like, was probably working late. So, uh, and we won't be here. We won't be here to eat. This we're going to eat tonight. This is our beef, beef and uh, broccoli. And uh, what can I say? It's good. See you guys uh, Wednesday.
bright ideas. I just had a meatloaf plan for today. Maybe I'll make the meatloaf tomorrow. For, for Wednesday, why? Season. Prepare it tomorrow. We'll see. So I love you guys. And uh, what can I say? See you guys Wednesday. Have a great night.